Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and this is part 35 of my Death Stranding Let's Play. So it's been quite a break for me since I played last part and I completely forgot what the next move should be in the game. So I started to check around and I found out that this mission is very unusual for the game because apparently we have to do a long walk someplace without anything. And I thought to myself, why is it so unusual? We've been doing it for like half a year, just walking nonsensely everywhere. So anyhow, let's jump into this mission. It seems to be pretty long, so I really want to do it. If you haven't checked my previous part, I will link it at the top of the screen. So without further ado, let's get into the game. One of a kind. A BB cat did it. Either that or a sacrifice. <sighs> a foundation. A bridge. His mother is really creeping me. We need to go all the way there. I think important is to get somewhere we, where we can charge, but I don't see anything. Sam, it's hard. Be advised that chiral density in regions predisposed to strandings has increased dramatically. No doubt the beach is to blame. BTs drawn into our world under these circumstances may be affected in unpredictable ways. Fuck it. I'm heading back east. This one's for you. I mean, slowly, but we're kind of making our way. Makes me very happy. Shit. Oh. Hi. Um, and what am I supposed to do? I did not know that this would happen. Is no fun. I just want to get to that zip line at this point. Okay, bye, bitch. So it seems that we survived. Whew. That was difficult. But now I'm only interested in the zip line. And also understand how far do they come. Well, Actually, I am quite close to my motorcycle still. Ah, that's not mine, but I get to have it. That's perfect. Okay, that was a great help. Sam, do you copy? I've been looking into Clifford Unger and wanted to share my thoughts. To recap, Unger was a U.S. Special Forces operative whose retirement roughly coincided with the Death Stranding. After he left the service, he somehow became involved in the early BB experiments. However, he died before they ended. Now, while the circumstances surrounding his death are not entirely clear, I'm beginning to suspect that these battlefields of his are at least partially sustained by his enduring emotional attachments. Anger, resentment, regret. I'm pretty sure it's got something to do with the BB experiments. That much seems clear given his repeated attempts to steal Lou. Cliff seems to be driven by a compulsion to reclaim our BB, as if that will make him whole again. A compulsion so powerful that he was not only able to drag himself from the depths of hell, but bring a piece of that hell along with him. One thing's for sure, he's nothing like a BT. We need to know the whole story about his death and his connection to the BB experiments. I'll keep digging and let you know what I find, Sam. Thank you, Deadman.
Ah, there's like no option, it's just happening. Okay, bye. Is there any motorcycle anywhere here? Oh yes, there is, but it's so far away. No, wait. We are fine, we are fine. Whoever put it here, just thank you. But the charger is somewhere there. Oh, I think actually I built this one. Yes, it is me. Look, jungle, jungle Rodion level three, forty-four likes. Wow, that's actually very cute. With Mama doing her thingy. Sam, you're not going to believe what I found. It's about the BP experiments, their true purpose. According to official records, they were continued in secret on the order of President Strand. Supposedly with the primary objective of developing BT detectors and preventing void outs. Any advancements that could be applied to the fields of chiral communications and beach research were meant to be of purely secondary benefit. But it turns out, that's just a cover story. The truth is, Sam, BBs were originally conceived as catalysts for the operation of the chiral network. They're integrated into the infrastructure of not cities for that very reason. Every single one you've brought into the fold. It was probably Amelie herself who installed them as she moved west with the first expedition, carrying out her mother's grand plan, making sacrifice after sacrifice on the altar of progress. President Strand told the people what they wanted to hear and did what she thought had to be done. Also, America could be whole again. But I'm starting to wonder if it didn't cost her her soul. The chiral network is our greatest creation, our proudest achievement, and our guiltiest sin. I don't know how to feel about it all. Maybe if we knew more about Cliff and the BB experiments, we'd be better placed to judge. I'll be in touch. Okay. Somewhere here is a road. It's not their old. Okay, I damaged it and almost ruined it apparently. Okay, I do not have it anymore. Oh look, NPCs. It was so funny in one of the episodes, I thought it was uh, real people. Here's the road. So basically, if you keep in center, you don't waste any energy. Hey Sam, I see you're coming up on Lake Knot. Stay strong, we're all rooting for you to finish the job and come home safe. By the way, I've made more progress in a certain investigation. It seems that Clifford Unger willingly put his own child in the care of the scientists conducting the BB experiments. But he did so completely unaware of their true intentions. This is pure speculation, but I think when Cliff found out about their plans, he attempted to reclaim custody. And after he failed, the BB remained in the program's care. In which case, he would have every reason to bear a grudge towards the president, the woman who allowed it all to happen, don't you think? But just because President Strand is dead, 
doesn't mean his hate died with her. No, I think he redirected it towards Bridges. Towards you and Amelie and anyone close to the director. And now that hate is driving him to set in motion the last stranding. To bring an end to the world as we know it. Why else would Cliff hold Amelie hostage on the beach? He must know that she's an EE. There's no time to lose. You have to save her and the director. Though I still don't understand how he managed to travel to her beach in the first place. There must be more to their relationship. I'll see what I can find. Well noted. Sam, it's about the director. So there's no way he could have made the jump to Amelie's beach if they didn't share a strong personal connection, right? Well, I looked, and I couldn't see one. The network should have contained something, anything, but there was nothing whatsoever. His entire life prior to his tenure with Bridges has been redacted. His name, his past, everything. There's no telling who he was. Which led me to consider another possibility. What if it isn't the director and Amelie who have a connection, but the director and Clifford Unger? And what if that connection is what facilitated the director's jump to Amelie's beach? If it's those two who have a personal history, then it might explain why Cliff is holding the director hostage as well. But even if that were the case, it doesn't answer the bigger question. How the hell did the two of them end up on Amelie's beach? Sam, Hartman here. There's something else I'd like you to consider. A guess, albeit an educated one, concerning Cliff's objective. Somehow, with the aid of the chiral network, our individual beaches have begun to coalesce, resulting in the formation of a single, massive seam. Should this process continue, there is a risk that BTs will flood across into our world bringing about a death stranding on a heretofore unprecedented scale. Now, Clifford Unger's battlefields and my own beach appear to be unaffected by this phenomenon, existing entirely in isolation. They do not and have never intersected with others. But what if there were another class of beach, one that exists on a higher plane that was responsible for setting this process in motion? And what if the beach in question were none other than Armelies? Cliff may have summoned the director, but I believe his true aim was to seize control of Armelies beach. To exploit its power over every other beach. And trigger the last stranding. It's the only rational explanation for Cliff's actions. Which is why you have to stop him. If Hartman's right, then we're in serious <coughs> trouble. Sorry. Using the chiral network in Amelie's beach to trigger the last stranding? That's why Higgs went after Amelie, wasn't it? If it was Cliff who put him up to it. Yeah, it all fits. With the last stranding, he'll finally have his revenge against the world that stole his life and his child. You've got to stop him, Sam. You've got to make the jump to Amelie's beach as soon as possible. Get in and get her back. It's our only hope. If you can't, then we're all doomed.
Sorry for the ambulance sounds. It made me brave. Okay guys, this will be the end for this part. I really hope you enjoyed it. I definitely did because the game is just kind of made me do the things I used to hate but in much easier way and made, made me appreciate all the hard work they did on the map. I wish the whole game was like that because honestly speaking the time we wasted in the beginning still bothers me so much. And I must say, I even tried to tell to my colleagues that I know are playing video games that once I'm done, I'll, I'll give you the disc, you can try the game. And they don't even want to play, like, that's how bad the opinion of the game is around the world, I guess. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching, please check my other videos, click like, subscribe and leave a comment, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye!